All right, guys. It's been a while since we haven't checked in on Starfield, but we are going to be doing this here in this video. At the end of this month, in just one week, Starfield is going to have a brand new a brand new DLC, right? Shadow Space. Well, by the time I'm releasing this footage, it's probably going to be just a couple of days. So let's check it out and let's see what's coming up here in Starfield Shadow Space. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. Ah, Tim Lamb. It's been a long time since we haven't seen Tim. It's been an incredible journey since Starfield launched last year. I want to thank all of you for making it the biggest launch in Bethesda Game Studios history. Oh, is it? Oh, I didn't know that. I still play Starfield occasionally from time to time. Still enjoy a little FPS combat in 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 in, in a facility, in a mining facility, or or a little bit of. Uh, exploration right it's it's quite relaxing your continued support and feedback drive us to making starfield the best experience possible since launch we've added new features yeah the maps right yes it's looking better <laughs> starfield now looks so much better than it used to launch uh, to look at launch absolutely fresh content and yeah, the bounty hunting, right? This was actually a cool mission. I've done this one here. I, it's a lot of fun. The newly released Revy, Starfield's yes! first ever land vehicle. And I hope there's more to come. Uh, but that is also quite a fun ground vehicle as well. Now we're expanding Starfield's galaxy with a brand new, completely handcrafted world and deep new storyline. That is a big difference compared to what we have, because the worlds that we have had in Starfield were all procedurally generated with a little bit of handcrafted elements. This one, in this DLC, it's only one world that is, as they said, completely handcrafted. So a major change compared to the content that we've had in Starfield so far. This September, we're launching Starfield's first major expansion, Shattered Space. Yes. Today, we're giving you the first look at the mysterious homeworld of House Faroon. Oh, that's like so, indeed, they're so mysterious, right? So we're finally going to get to discover a little bit more about this House Faroon, what they're all about, their history, their origins, what's going on there, why are they so secret secretive? I can't wait. So let's dive in and explore. Yes. Now, I'm not a big fan of horror, so I'm gonna play because it's Starfield, but yeah, horror games are not my cup of tea. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to man up here, uh, be the eradicator, and <laughs> and uh, take care of that. The fate of our house was written among the stars. Serpent tells us there is nothing to fear. Do not the great serpent. What a stupid belief. Who believes in that, right? But I hope that eventually we will figure out what's behind that, right? What's behind the great serpent? Why is there a, a great serpent? Why a serpent, right? What's going on there with these people? I hope that we'll figure it out as well. At least not for those who walk the path. You will rise as Varun. Are we going to become a Varun? What if we already are a Varun? Because when you create your character, you can already start as a member of House Varun. Yeah, what's going on there? We love Starfield's massive open galaxy, but from early on in our planning, we knew we wanted to introduce a more secluded and handcrafted... Wait a second. <laughs> What's that? Is that a slug? We knew we wanted to introduce some more... It doesn't even look like they have legs. They look like slugs. That's so funny. <laughs> ...secluded and handcrafted location, similar to what you've seen from our past expansions. So much mystery to House Faroon, and because they've so thoroughly isolated themselves, it made them the perfect faction to explore in a completely self-contained experience. Oh, 
so that means that once we're there, we can go back to the regular Starfield universe, right? So it's secluded. We have to stay there and and all the DLC is going to be taking place here. Okay. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. From the minute you arrive on Varun Kai, the story never sends you off planet. You're all right, so that's what... Okay. All right, so it's confirmed. We're we're only gonna stay here. Free to leave at any time, but the story is fully centered around. Oh, so we can. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So we can. He did say. All right, so you can leave at any time, but no story element of the DLC will be located anywhere else. It's all here on Houseburn. And look at that. They actually have places to chill, right? A little bar here where people are are sitting, little restaurant there. All right, I, w I was afraid it would be all gloomy and, and a bit, you know, fascist, but at least they're they are chilling here. Around life on the Varun homeworld. Everything you discover, every location you visit, every side mission you seek out. Wow, oh, what are these habitations there? It's like, like an outpost or some kind of a little town that's so interesting this is not something that we have in the game it all tells the story of what happened here and how the Varun. it's actually beautiful is that a it looks like they are living around a, a a red dwarf which could probably explain why the lightning is is as such right i, I would expect the i would expect varunkai to be orbiting a red dwarf at least that's what it looks like when people have survived cut off from the comforts of the settled systems and the rest of humanity Vindicator. Harbinger. Yeah, what the hell is this? Oh. Reverend. Promised. Something's messed up here. <laughs> something, something happened. One of our main themes throughout the base game is humanity's search for knowledge. Shattered Space is still about that search. Okay. But it's also about what happens when it goes too far. Oh. It's a very extreme pursuit, and it has backfired horribly for the people of House Verone. Oh, so they have been making their own science on, you know, in their own little area. And okay, so that's what this DLC is about, right? Things went wrong. How did it go wrong? What's happening? Why? And what are the consequences, perhaps? My brother Kwasim has been missing for days. I'm beginning to worry that something terrible has happened to him. That's a lot of blood on the floor. <laughs> well, follow the trail. <laughs> and a trail of blood. <laughs> Just, I suppose we'll follow that, right? Oh my! Before the start of Shattered Space, a secret experiment involving grav drive technology went terribly wrong. Oh, it's a bit similar to what happened on the Earth, right? And the reason why Earth lost its magnetosphere. It resulted in a massive tear in the fabric of space-time that swallowed a significant portion of the Varun capital of Dazra. Oh, so they it ruined the capital. My gosh. You arrived just a few weeks after the Vortex incident. It's still very fresh in everyone's minds. There's a massive crater in their city. Oh my gosh. Nothing has been reconstructed. People are still searching for missing loved ones. Supplies are limited. There is so much work to be done. The scaled citadel, the seat of power for the Varun government, is now trapped within a strange field of energy. Among those men. That's just. <laughs> and since they are so secluded and, and secretive, they're not asking help for the other governments in the Starfield universe. This thing right? is a Nasco Varun, leader of the Varun people and speaker for the Great Serpent. In his absence, the minor houses that make up House Varun are all vying for control over the oh, faction's future. Oh, so there's a vacuum of power, I see. That's going to be making it interesting, right? Different factions that we're going to be able to um, to play with, uh, maybe play against each other, different types of areas that we're going to be able to attack, loot, defend, interact with. All right. The Zealots were once a part of Varun society. 
are we going to finally have something to do with the zealots? Like, are we going to be able to interact with them, maybe? Be friends with them? Like, stop us? Stop them from attacking us? They want to continue the Serpent's Crusade. They'll demand an inordinate amount of credits or firearms. Worst case, a seat at the High Council or even the reinstatement of their house. Oh, because they've been banished then, I suppose, right? Okay, so even... Even within the uh, the House of Arun, the Zealots are kind of outcasts. This looks nice, by the way. Yeah, some of these places, they, they look quite decent. Right? Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, we have access to the uh, Varun guns. Now, what I really hope is that when we play Shutter Space, we don't have to start a new game, and that we can use our current save. Uh, I think this is like I'm still at my at my second playthrough. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm married to uh, to um, uh, Andreja, so she's my wife. Uh, she's also from House Varun, right? So if I'm married to Andreja, I hope it's also going to be bringing some perks, right? Going to House Varun, going with her, she'll be happy to go there, I suppose, right? Someone's gonna be have to be saved. It totally looks like a red giant with the, all those aurora here. Probably what saves this planet from the burst of the red giant is the, probably that has a strong magnetic field. Varun Kai and Dazer City are like no other location in the base game. From its inception, House Varun has been driven by a singular, unique vision. Because of this, Varun Kai has a completely distinct visual identity. We say it's very alien. Yeah, it's almost, right? It's so different compared to the other areas in Starfield, which look, you know, as they said, na NASA punk. You know, that was their term for Starfield. And that is not NASA punk at all. That, we, that is totally sci-fi here. It definitely looks like a... Uh, it looks like Starfield 2 somehow. You'll see this in the extraterrestrial landscape, gravity anomalies, and much more. Alright, so these anomalies here is what make... What created all these troubles here. Looks like the, the palace, right? Going to the door. Oh my god, there are still people out there! Oh, they're gone! Huh. Varun Kai. Okay, so. So, 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 so. It's, it has 1G. So, similar to Earth. There's one big landing, landing zone here, Desra City. Temperate weather, high oxygen. Uh, it, the water is safe. They have abandoned fl flora and fauna a little bit. Alright, cool. Kai is located in the Kavnik system. And and it looks like there are still going to be a couple of gas giants and, and planets to explore, right? It's not the friendliest environment. They believed the Great Serpent led them to Varun Kai, and their whole purpose in being here is to await its return. You have no concept of what the Great Serpent demands of us. All must serve. Yeah, they are so indoctrinated, right? Oh my gosh, what is this here? They have a couple of monsters there. It's a dangerous planet, and a lot of the people have retreated to Dazra in order to survive and protect their culture and their way of life. Now you'll find areas of the planet that were abandoned and have since been taken over by zealots, spacers, and crimson fleet. And humans aren't the only dangers in the badlands of the planet. Oh yeah, look at this, like a, a, a walking rock. With the line between reality and the vortex breaking down, Creatures from the other side can slip through, like the Vortex Horror. The Vortex Horror? What is this? When you disturb the barrier between our world and theirs, they can sense it, creating these honestly terrifying ambush scenarios. Oh yeah, they look pretty bad. Hopefully, um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a lot of ammo before going there. In the base game, there's a lot of focus around ranged gun combat. You can engage in a firefight from way in the distance. Yes. In shattered space, we're closing that distance. Space is scary. Oh man, I have no skills. I've never tried melee combat in Starfield, actually. I've never, yeah, not once. I have not killed a single enemy with melee in Starfield. Gonna have to work on that. Oh. <laughs> Part of getting that across is amping up the aggression and the chaos of combat. Oh yeah, they're pretty high level. Oh, this looks cool. Actually, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Ah, take the high ground. Always have the high ground in Starfield. Ooh, they have brand new... Look at those cool weapons there. It's like a uh, House Varun machine gun. As you explore the city of Dazra and the surrounding planet, you'll learn the truth of what happened. Become yes. entangled in the political feud between the minor houses and or maybe become a full-time House Varun member. Who knows? Ultimately, decide the fate of House Varun. A fate that could affect the rest of the settled systems. We can restore the intended order of things. Thank you for joining us for a closer look at Shattered Space. Cool. We worked hard to make this a journey you won't forget. We're incredibly grateful for your support and passion. Stay tuned for more updates as we head toward launch on September 30th. Nice. And I will be in... No, I will not be in Brittany. I'll be in France by then. And I will be trying it out. I need to bring my PC to, to France to try this out. <laughs> right, I'll try my best to give some first impressions uh, already uh, from, uh, from France. Probably I'm not going to be doing any live stream. Maybe with my brother. Uh, we'll see, guys.